Hey, JC here with Pacific Fan Spotlight. Uh, we're a new internet show uh, dedicated to promoting West Coast fandom, um, science fiction, fantasy, and horror conventions, uh, gaming, role playing, filking, you name it, we cover it. Uh, we're here actually to, this weekend at uh, Conflict, which is a uh, brand new filking convention. This is the first Conflict, Conflict number one, uh, and it is a brand new filking convention in the greater Seattle area. Uh, we're actually located this year in Renton, Washington, uh, in the Renton Holiday Inn. Thank you, Renton, for uh, Holiday Inn for hosting the convention as well as the show. In this show, we will be covering uh, conflict uh, as a whole. We'll be speaking to several of the uh, con committee, uh, the folks who run the convention. We'll also be speaking to several of the con goers, the uh, people who actually have paid to attend the convention and enjoy its amenities. I'm with now. Uh, what's your name again? Maverick Weirdo. Maverick Weirdo. I'm with Maverick Weirdo here, and we are here at Conflict Number One. Uh, Maverick, uh, are you, you are a filker. Yes, I am a filker, although only under the broad definition of filker. So, now, do you uh, do you fil- do you create music? Do you play an instrument? Do you sing, or do you just come here to to enjoy the music? I do not play an instrument. I do not write filk songs. I do like to call what I do singing. Um, for, for, um, for the broad th- definitions of singing. For the sake of argument, we'll call it singing. Right. So, and and I do enjoy listening. <coughs> no. uh, part of what I like about filking is that there is no qualitative definition to it. It doesn't have to be good to be filk. Yes. Well, in a, in a philosophy class in college that the we were once talking about the question of art and even if something is bad art it's still art and art is what uh, makes the beauty in this world today <clears throat> i'm here now with julie uh also known as jewel song on her badge um she is new to filking um so you are new to filking how are you enjoying the convention so far i am enjoying it quite a lot uh not a whole lot of people that i know or uh, songs that I know, but I'm learning them. I've got my songbook. Um, most, I, I'm not completely new to filking. I have a fairly large collection of filk that's related to Firefly and Serenity. And I have those with me, but nobody's sung any of them yet. So, so um, I'm just uh, hoping to learn a lot more. But yes, now, uh, but the convention, what have you been done here so far? Um, I went to like uh, the first part of the role-playing thing, but then I had to come up and set up, but uh, what were some of the things you've done here? Uh, that's uh, pretty much what I've done, too. I've really enjoyed the sing-alongs, because these are songs I haven't had a lot of exposure to uh, filk as a you know as a broad genre so being able to just sit there with a whole bunch of people and listen to the songs and sing them along with them um, for me it makes it a lot more personal than just listening to somebody on a CD Um, even though you know uh, Filk being about certain books or certain authors if I haven't read those authors generally the Filk isn't going to be interesting to me but if I'm sitting there with a group of people, and I can see what enjoyment they get out of it, and I can, you know, and join in. Uh, you know, it just helps make it a lot more personal. So I'm really enjoying the sing-alongs. You can see what you're missing, and you'll have to come next year, next year's convention. Now, are you going? Were you planning on being here for next year's convention? I will because I don't live far from here, and I have several friends on the concom, and uh, that's actually well, actually I have. And they say nepotism is a dead art. We're here now with Robert, who is a member of the convention here at Conflict. Robert, welcome to the convention. Thank you. Um, now, how long have you been doing uh, filking? Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of filk myself as much as I, I, I've i listened since I've been uh, 10 years old. Okay, so um, you're definitely a fan of filk. Uh, how long have you been go- going to filk conventions such as this one? This is my first one because it's the first one in the area. Ah, that's true. That is true. And we're very proud of that fact. And another another cool thing is you get to say, I was there at conflict number one. Um, so what have you been doing so far at the convention? Um, the panels. I, I really, this is an opportunity to sit in on some of the workshops and, and 
listen to what some of the more accomplished people in the area have, have to share. And then, of course, the concerts. You can't uh, do you forget. plan on uh, starting to write more yourself, or just do you still just plan to continue just to, to enjoy and let everybody else do the creative work, and you you know enjoy the fruits of their labor? Well, I'm definitely happy to enjoy you know the fruits of other people's labor. I'd like to get into it. You know, for me, it's it's a matter of you know finding something that that interests me the most to really get into, whether it's instrumental wise or. Do you plan on going next year? Oh yeah, definitely. It's it's going to become one of my weekends. <laughs> We're here now with Lynn Gold, uh, Filker, and member of Conflict. Uh, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Um, so how are you enjoying this year's convention? It's very good. This is a very, very good first convention. I'm, I'm very impressed. and I, I'm one of the people who runs Constance down in the San Francisco Bay Area, so I know something about running Phil Cons. Well, that's, we're glad to have your uh, expertise here and um, just to give us a, an idea of how good we're doing. Um, do you plan on attending any future co- uh, conflicts? I hope so. I mean, it all depends on my financial situation. If I can afford to get here, I will be here. Understandable. Travel, especially long distances, is kind of expensive. Um, so uh, you're enjoying the convention? Yes, I am. Very much so. Oh, what are some of the things you've done at this convention so far? Well, I just got done with doing a twofer. Two songs in a ten-minute period. I will be doing the juried one shot, and I'm entering the song contest. So beyond that, I've been attending concerts and felt circles and that kind of stuff, workshops. Now, um, are are you a performer? Do you like to create your own filks, or do you just uh, just didn't like to uh, sing along with everyone else, enjoying uh, everyone else's creations? I'm a performer. I write my own stuff. I have a music book that's about yay thick of my stuff so and I'm in the process of putting together a CD oh that's pretty cool I'm here now with Paul a member of conflict Paul welcome to the con- convention okay thanks um, how did you get to start it in in filking well I've been playing Celtic music for several years and I, I suppose the two other members Crow and Runner Wolf are responsible for me starting to play folk music as well as folk music Ah, excellent. Um, and so, uh, is this your first uh, Filkin convention uh, ever, or is the, or have you been, gone to others in other areas? It's my first specific Filkin convention. I've been a regular attendee of NorwestCon, and I used to go to RadCon every so often. Okay. Uh, and how are you enjoying the convention this so far? Well, it seems to be doing fairly well. It's the First, first convention and of its kind in, in the area, so we can't expect miracles just yet. Already they're That's expecting to do another one next year. Uh, would you be planning to attend that one as well? Almost certainly. I live very close to here, and, and I like playing music, and I don't get to do it enough. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so, obviously, you said you, you, have, you play music and you have an instrument. Um, what instrument do you play? I play the hammered dulcimer. I'm probably the only person here who's carrying one. I've seen a couple Appalachian dulcimers around, but not not quite the same. Uh, can thing. you briefly describe how a hammered dulcimer uh, uh, works? Uh, sort of, you know, how, how how you play it as opposed to other instruments. Oh, it's a trapezoidal instrument with a large number of doubled strings. So I've got uh, 12. 12 notes on one side, 11 notes on the other, other side, and you strike them with, uh, with wooden hammers. So it works somewhat similar to the inside of a piano. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, it makes them a... Uh, I, I don't think I've heard a hammered dulcimer. I've heard, I've heard other uh, types of old dulcimers before. Um, can you kind of describe what the sound would be like? It, it makes a, a somewhat bell-toned type sound. Oh, the instrument is is fairly nearby. If if that would be easier to describe, I bet. Actually, that would be great if you wouldn't mind. Okay, here is Paul on his hammer dulcimer.
That was fantastic. 